G'day everyone, Brendan Glanville here. And today I wanna to talk to you about creative thought. Now creativity is often something that is put into the place of uh, arty farty, um, it's that uh, a hobby, um, not that important. But I wanna take this a little bit further, I wanna discuss this with you a little bit further. Let's have a what if question. What if we look at the brain as being left brain, right brain, and I understand, I'm not a scientist, but I understand that left, left brain logical sequential and right brain lateral and non-sequential is a misnomer now and they say that it doesn't just live in one hemisphere. I'm an actor, so let's just go with me on this fact. We all know that we have a part of us that's very really logical sequential and we have a part of us that isn't. It's that part that we dream from and that part that we have our outlandish thoughts from. Our left brain is to control the right brain because, well, there's a little white strip of paint down the freeway that keeps us safe and if that's our left brain, if we just went with our right brain, we could what if and suddenly veer off into the oncoming traffic, right? There's no wall there to stop us, it's just a rule, a belief that you don't cross that line and you keep safe. And that's kind of where the left brain has a purpose, it keeps us safe. We follow the rules, we stay the course, we do our logical thinking, if we can feel it, see it, hear it, taste it, touch it, then it's real, anything else isn't real, this is the logical left brain. But we know for a fact that we can't see x-rays. We know for a fact that we can't hear what dogs hear. We know that there are people that have a stronger sense of the sour to the sweet. So we know that some of the logical rules that we say are the rules of the world aren't real. And the problem is, is that our whole society is gearing towards left brain logical thinking, but it's the right brain creative thinking that innovates, that finds solutions, that thinks laterally, that thinks outside of the box. So I am an advocate that we need to, for our kids and teens in particular, but for all of us, that we need to be doing creative things. So a creative thing could be not that currently we're living through COVID-19, so we're not doing a lot of driving, but if you're driving home, drive home a different way. If you're walking home from school, go a slightly different way. It's that ability to change things up, to surprise ourselves. Wouldn't it be cool to wake up every day and, and just once in that day, we surprise ourselves? because it's creative thinking goes further than just being an innovative problem solver. It's about your own sovereignty. It's about your own, own thoughts. It's your own ability to not just accept everything that's given to you. Creative thinkers will ask the question why, and they don't need to be rude or desperate. Creative thinkers play with things. Creativity it has a sense of play. So I encourage you to do two things. One, start thinking about creativity and where you're using it in your life, if at all. And two, become a supporter of it. See the value of it. Do your own research on it. Because slowly, 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 we are letting creativity drip out of our, our life. And even those people that have kids that go, oh, but they spend a lot of time playing games. And kids are gonna hate me for this. Like video games are more left brain because they're rule based. I watched my son play Fortnite the other night, I'm watching him track a little dot and be able to estimate where that dot, when he pressed the trigger to get the target. And I'm, and I'm like, that is so left brain. They think that it's escapism. It's escapism into the left brain. Right brain activities you might wanna play with, even reading is a right brain activity because you're visualizing the words you're seeing. Um, drawing, freehand drawing, draw, tell it, write a, a message to yourself with your left hand. Do something unusual, um, you know, dance. Uh, go out into nature, hug a tree. These are just some of the ways that you can do something that's a little bit different. But let's all become champions of creativity because now in the world, more than ever, we need people to have their own original thoughts, not just following what everyone says. They need to have people who embrace play and fun because it's so much closer to our heart. And I think that in a head-based world, we're gonna to need to come back to our heart to do well. They're my thoughts.